Voice of Indonesia. The Indonesian Ministry of Foreign Affairs held the 2024 annual press statement on Monday at Gedung Merdeka Banu City, West Java Province. According to the Indonesian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Retno Masudi, the name Gedung Merdeka, which means independence building, actually reminds Indonesia's debt, which has not been paid until now, namely Palestinian independence. Minister Retno Masudi also pointed out that 2023 became a very bad year for the Palestinian people, where more than 21,000 people died due to Israeli atrocities and various public facilities were destroyed, not only in Gaza, but also in the West Bank. Gedung ini mengingatkan adanya satu hutang kita yang belum terbayar yaitu kemerdekaan Palestina. This building reminds us of one of our unpaid debts, namely Palestinian independence. The Palestinian case shows the double standards of a number of countries in the world, especially the global north. A number of countries in the global north have suddenly become silent about humanitarian violation. Where are all the lectures they often give on human rights? Don't Palestinians have the same rights as the rest of us? Why does it seem like the value of the Palestinian people is lower than ours? yang sama dengan kita semua. Kenapa seakan nilai bangsa Palestina lebih rendah dari kita? Furthermore, on that occasion, Minister Retno Masudi reiterated Indonesia's position, which will continue to fight together with Palestine. She also confirmed that she would be present at the international court representing the Indonesian government to support the court to provide an advisory opinion to strengthen Palestine's legal position. According to Retno, the UN must not forget the struggle of Palestinian people politically and internationally.